welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. Wanted to share something interesting with you. So my wife's been binge watching the uh, Hallmark Channel now that we've uh, passed Black Friday. And one of the things I noticed in passing through, uh, they had some kids or something cutting out these cardboard snowflakes and then kind of putting them together. And that kind of struck me as interesting. So I decided to whip up sort of a open SCAD Thingiverse customizer, if you will, to do very similar. So what I simply did is went and found an image of a snowflake online. And then what I did is I took the polygon of it here. And you can see this polygon. And it's a pretty big polygon because there's a lot of corners and everything else in, in the snowflake. And then what I simply did was I created some math to create a notch in it. So this notch right here. So this is this snowflake is symmetrical. So what you do is you print out two of these and they simply slide together. Now, the other interesting part is I made it parametric up here so you can scale the thickness of the snowflake, the size. I mean, if you got a Tron XE or a Creality, I mean, you can make a, a, a basketball size snowflake, which is really cool. Uh, also, I put a section in here because notice this hole if you want to make a Christmas ornament. Now, one, in the first version of this, I got to say, I put it over here in the center of this, but the other snowflake covers it up. So that was a bad idea, Joe. So I actually put it up here, and then what happens is it now holds this, I think, at like a 45 degree angle. So it actually looks cooler with it up here. And again, this, this is parametric, so it scales with the size of the snowflake. And again, you can change the diameter of the hole. I have it set to two. I also built in a little bit of fudge factor for the plastic. So it uh, depends if you're using plastic, which expands or contracts, PLA or ABS. So you can actually fine tune it in Thingiverse. Uh, I found point one actually works pretty good. And you notice I've set this up, and it is actually also out on Thingiverse as a customizer. So if you want to share this with friends and family that really aren't into uh, OpenSCAD, hey, send them the link to the customizer. Uh, however, I think the bigger piece with this, what I wanted to demonstrate for you guys or share with you guys more so, is the fact you can take just about any um, polygon object and do this with. So you can go out, I'll have the link to this code below, and add your own polygon and polygon data and, and do this very same thing. Because take a look at what we're doing up here. We're doing a linear extrude of this. And we're doing a resize. So it doesn't matter the size of your polygon, if you will, because what's going to happen is we're going to resize it to make it the size we want. Now, I've used this trick many, many times because I don't want to say the linear extrude function has been a little bit unreliable, but, but you get the size of the polygon in, in the pieces. But what if you don't want the polygon that size? This is where resize works out great. And then notice I use auto resize, auto equals true here, and then I've got the Y set for zero. So I scale on X and it makes the Y proportional to whatever the X dim is. And so this has worked out really good. So you could do ornaments, Santa Clauses, whatever, rockets, starships, you name it. Um, you can, you know, just simply replace this uh, snowflake polygon information with that. So I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and uh, let's watch a quick time lapse. It's not that exciting, but we'll watch it anyway. It'll make, I'll make it short. Uh, I've, I've done this on the Creality. I only did a smaller version, so I'd print quick just to make sure everything lined up. And then we'll head back over to the bench and take a final look at it. So i see you over there. So welcome back. So we took a look at the code for this, and again, you can get the code out on the website. Uh, the link will be in the description below to, to get these. And of course, it's a thing uh, customizer on Thingiverse too. So if you have friends or whatever you want to share this with, hey, feel free. They don't have to be open SCAD geeks. But you know, it's just kind of a neat thing that I figured I would share with you guys. So you can basically take any type of object like this that's a polygon, and using that basic code concept create um, 
you know, a three-dimensional object from sort of a 2D object, if you will. So I thought this was pretty cool. If you thought this was pretty cool, hey, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, put out regular content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.